Hello. In this screencast, I'm going to show you about a new feature in 3ds Max 2015. I just downloaded the new version because I have a subscription. And um, in this scene, you see that I've made a simple sphere and a cylinder. Now the sphere is an editable poly and the cylinder is a cylinder primitive. And basically, I'll show you what one often did in the past, you to place an object onto the surface of a sphere. So you could either use certain other commands, but it was a bit complicated, or you would do it manually. And many people want to do things manually. I like doing things manually in 3D Studio Max. I don't like using scatter compounds sometimes. I like to place things, you know, intuitively, like you're making a, a sculpture or something. So it would, as you can see, it would take a long time to place it so it look, looked like it was flush on the surface, okay? So I'm going to delete these and then take this cylinder back here. So now, this new tool, this new placement tool in, um, Autodesk 2015 is up here. It's next to the Select and Uniform Scale to the right of that. And users of the old versions will see this new um, icon. So <coughs> we select this icon and we click on the object we want to select in place. And as you roll over the object, there's um, a strange icon that appears. I'm not sure I like it. It looks like an arrow going down onto a mesh. So I left click on this mesh, and then I take it to the select and place object I want to put on the surface, which is great. But as we can see, this cylinder is um, going through the sphere. So if we have these sort of problems, we go to this panel here. So you roll over select and place and right click and it comes up with placement settings. There's a whole array, array of different placement settings. Um, what you can do is fiddle around with them. So try the X one, that doesn't make it flush. Try the Y one. Ah, so the Z one works. I mean, if you're like me, I really X, Y, Z coordinates do my brain in sometimes. And I prefer to just see look and see. Um, okay, so, sorry, just had a drink of water there. <clears throat> and another cool thing you can do is copy it and drag. And as you copy and drag, the select and place tool stays with the new object and you can intuitively place objects onto the surface object that you want. So now we have a sphere with um, chicken pox or something. So, okay, now I'm going to freeze this, select all of these, unfreeze this again, unhide something, so unhide all, and now I've got a honeybee that I usually use in tutorials that I made, and I'm going to select and place this. Okay, so there we go. So what again to run over it, click on that icon select the object you want, make sure the, the, the weird icon comes, left click, drag, drag on to the object you want. And now you can see it's gone weird because the X, Y, Z pivot coordinates on this B are wrong. So they're not the right way up so that the legs stay on the sphere. So I'm going to fiddle around with this again. So that's going through it. That's under it. That's annoying because I didn't. That's going under it. That's there. That's wrong. Why? Okay, so the Z, the minus Y coordinate makes it go flush on the sphere like this. Let's click and drag. So again, it's going to click and drag on the sphere. So this is a really excellent tool. And I really like it. It's probably the best feature I've seen for a long time. And um, it will save you so much time when you want to intuitively place things. Um, 
and as you can see in the right click panel that comes there's rotate settings so you can rotate the bees um, well whatever object you're placing it doesn't always have to be bees you can use base as pivots um, auto parent I'm not sure what that does I'll have a look into that pillar mode and I'm not sure what that is but that that will be in the help the help options anyway as I say I've only just started looking at this in the last five minutes okay so any questions and comments please please um, type type away and um, I'll answer those and I hope you found this tutorial helpful okay speak later bye